Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no, no. I don't think that was recording. No. Hi guys, I'm Katie and welcome to my channel. It is actually quite frightening to think that this is it now. Like, we're in October, we just have November left, December, that is it. The end of the year is nearly out and it's, I don't know, it's just happened really quick. For me, I have had the longest year, but once I hit summer, it has suddenly barreled forward. I, sw I, I just don't like it. I just don't like that suddenly, like, this is happening. So, what did I read in September? First book up is The Smoke Thieves by Sally Green. A lot of you will probably know that I read this. I did my reading vlog on this. I posted a book review on this. This book is so amazing. You need to read this, please. Thank you. It is really nice to revisit the world of Sally Green. Um, it's definitely a different sort of writing style. It is... Um, it is still adult, like Half Bad was, but it was that was like a different level of adult. That was like pure just anger and rage and just emotional turmoil. Whereas this comes from more, it's like a more high fantasy element to it. Uh, we've got more characters that we're following. There are five characters, so it's a lot more going on, um, which I really like. So I like it when you have like multiple points of view, especially when there's a lot of them and trying to figure out how all their like plots um, tie into everything. We also have female leads in this book, whereas the last book was male driven, which I actually really liked because I always read female um, driven leads, and she wrote Nathan so amazingly. So. It's nice to see like how she is writing females, but we've got like a mixture, which is really nice. I think I gave this book like four and a half, I think, stars, or maybe four. It was really good. I didn't want to get my hopes up too much because I loved her first series so much, and I didn't want to be like, this one would be amazing too. But this one is like just still just as good. I'm really looking forward to sort of seeing like where she now goes with this story. My second book finished, Eternal Dawn. I should not be eating Pikmix right now, this is gonna make this video very hard. So this is the final chapter in Rachel Mizell's trilogy. Um, I saw her. As I said previously, I've been really surprised. Oh, please ignore the gammy pasta. I've been really surprised by this trilogy. This is a series that I picked up, you know, when I was like 13 or something. Vampires, you know, the height of everything. So yeah, I was kind of worried actually how this book would turn out. And it actually turned out quite good. Um, there was a lot of sort of supernatural elements that she really sort of made her own, which I personally appreciate for an author. You know, your books can be really bad, but if you make the effort, I really appreciate it. So yeah, there was a lot more as the story kind of kept going. There was just, ah, dropped a chocolate raisin. There was more about that sort of supernatural element to come from it. But yeah, all in all, it actually was a pretty good series. Um, this final book basically deals with kind of the fallout of her making the decision to become a human after all that. Kind of like facing the repercussions of it, I guess. Yes, it is kind of like the fallout from... It is basically her decision to be a human affects everything it is a big strong ball of sort of energy and magic that she uses to do this something she doesn't realize is and that kind of creates hell and it just creates ripples it's actually a pretty good read i'd say get it on kindle because you know you probably won't reread this but as vampire books go it's not bad if you kind of want to dip your toe back into it i'd say pick it up i'm sure it's pretty cheap so I decided to sandwich that book between greatness in case it was a bit And the other side of bread is Wonder Woman Warbringer by Leah Bardugo. So good! Oh my goodness, so good. I have filmed a reading vlog for this. Um, that's going to be posted in maybe two or three weeks. This is the problem, I have so many videos that I want to do. And again, this is why I keep thinking about maybe posting twice a week. But um, this is probably going to come not next week, but the week after. She says, not even 100% sure. <laughs> Who knows? I filmed it. It's so ready to go. I've got to edit it. I'm still really torn as to whether or not I want to do a book review on this. I don't know because I feel like I need to scream and shout about the back of this book. Uh, as I said in my um, reading vlog, which you will see eventually, um, I sort of said that I just, I really like the fact that this was split between um, two point of views. And it's also quite nice that in the film, obviously, she was brought to the modern world, but obviously it was the model world when, um, model world, modern world, when it was, like, World War II, whichever one it was. This one is our modern world. So it was quite nice to see her introduced, like, to, like, different ones. Yeah, I know where I'm going with this. But yeah, it was nice to have it split between her and just a regular mortal and sort of her, because, you know, if you were stuck with a crazy Amazon, you would just think, I have concussion, I'm in a coma, I'm just gonna ride this out until I can get to civilization. It is, it's a really good story. I really should have guessed the ending and I think if I'd have watched this on TV or 
as a film, I so would have like seen the thing coming and been like, well, obviously, but I was so caught up in the story and so caught up in the telling of it completely like passed me by which is a really good thing to like happen because I guess things quite a lot but as long as the storytelling's good I don't mind. It's basically yeah it's her first sort of mission quest she should basically leave this human to die but she chooses not to and wants to save both the Amazons and us mortals <laughs> and um we are stupid beings and yeah it is it's really good it's um very different from the film so you don't have to worry about thinking mm, well is it just gonna be like the film no it is really different um she is much younger she's still similar in the night not the naive way of thinking but she's still very direct but this is a much younger Diana whereas you know we had older Diana coming into the world so it's, it is very nice I still kind of pictured Gaia Gannett just like a little bit younger but to be honest she is like perfect so I don't really care it is making me look forward to reading the other three books to come in this series however I knew this would happen I knew I would read these and then want more books to spring from this like I want a series of Wonder Woman and I also kind of want them to do like a villain one as well I mean I know we've got Catwoman in this and she kind of like treads the line but I just knew this was going to happen I knew I would want more books to come from this I definitely recommend this I love that the more this book continues the whole like Greek mythology thing really becomes into a big play of it and the whole actually maybe it's not just stories I like books that do it definitely it's really weird I loved her Greta trilogy but I feel like I love this more actually I don't know why but I definitely do. So because I finished my three books early, I keep doing this. I like don't really realise what I'm doing. <laughs> I then read The Little Prince. I've had this on my shelf. Actually, not that long. I actually bought this this year. But a friend I used to work with has read this and this is like one of her favourite stories. I don't know how I feel about it. I didn't rate I didn't give it a rating because I don't know I uh. it's it's a bit like Peter Pan. I thought I would love it and then didn't, but I could rate Peter Pan, but this one I can't rate and I don't know and then I was sat there like reading reviews of this and I it still didn't help it's it's still sat in a no man's land of ratings it is a strange one but it's also very sad and I don't like that <laughs> but I don't know maybe I just didn't get it and this book wasn't for me it I remember when I started reading it I was like this is rather strange I was like this is definitely rather strange but I don't know it is yeah some pilot crash lands in the Sahara and meets this little prince out of nowhere and ah oh, there goes my other sweets and then the, eventually you get the tale of where he came from the other planets he's visited the other people he's seen and then yeah him at the end i don't know it's it's an ob if you've read this like please comment what you think and stuff about it because I, I don't know maybe because i didn't read it when i was a child maybe because of that i just don't have like the big love that everyone has for it like i don't i don't know <laughs> And we have now arrived in October. So because I finished those much quicker and I'm still in technically in the week of December, I'm in the... Oh my... What? Ho, ho, ho. We're in the last week of September now. So I have actually started my October <laughs> reading pile early. Starting with The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. This is the first Holly Black book I have ever read. I've had her books on my TBR pile, I think, since my pile even it ever existed. But I don't know why, but she always kind of kept like being pushed to the wayside. I could not tell you. The reason why I picked this is because on Goodreads, one of the groups I'm part of, this is going to be one of the book of the month. So there's like four. So this is really interesting. So far, I am very, I'm vibing this book so far. Uh, it is, I tried to explain this to a colleague I worked with, which was very hard. Fairies exist, but only in this one place. But everyone knows about it, it's not a secret. Like, tourists come visit this place, and there is a horned kid in a glass coffin in the middle of the forest. So, it's a very big tourist attraction, so it's not like it's a secret. Everyone knows about it. And this book is from the point of view, uh, well, kind of the point of view of one person. But her and her brother, you know, they've grown up in the forest, and being around all these weird mythical creatures who are evil. Because, let's face it, fairies are dicks and yeah uh i can't i don't want to spoil anything <laughs> i'm really struggling this feels like a very good october read actually um to begin with the writing felt really kind of sing-songy and fairy taley so it kind of not even like struggled to get into the flow of it but now i'm into it like it's fine and i'm not having a problem with it but i am so far i'm really liking it i'm not halfway yet nearly so i will be taking this on holiday with me unless i finish it beforehand then i won't be taking it on holiday. this was what i planned to read on holiday but yeah things change but i would definitely just based on what i've read the front half i'd recommended so far it seems very good so my second book which i'm 
trying to grasp over here, will be a Kindle book, and it is Insanity by Jace Cameron. Or Cameron Jace. Let me double check that one real quick. Yeah, so it is Cameron Jace. Okay, so this has been on my list for ever but it was a kind of like a maybe and I think it must have been like free on Kindle or because I bought I bought like a bunch of other of his books and if you like got there early they were like 99p or something he's like done these books called the Grim Diaries and then the Grim Diary prequels still haven't read them but I'm like going to and at the time Insanity there was like two or three books there's like eight now so yay and I really wasn't sure about it and then I was trying to figure out what I wanted to take on holiday because I thought I'm probably going to be at least way over halfway by the time I get to it and thought take a kindle more space and i was thinking oh god what do i want to read on kindle so try and reserve that for books that i'm not too sure about or books that have been on my like tbr pile forever and i probably don't care about and so i was like scanning through and i like came across this so what is insanity about after accidentally killing everyone in her class alice wonder is now a patient in the radcliffe lunatic asylum no one doubts her insanity only a hookah smoking professor believes otherwise that he can prove her insanity by decoding lewis carroll's paintings photograph and find wonderland's real whereabouts Professor Caterpillar persuades the asylum that Alice can save lives and catch the Wonderland monsters now reincarnated in modern day criminals. In order to do so, Alice leads a double life, an Oxford University student by day, a mad girl in an asylum by night. The line between sanity and insanity twins when she meets Jack Diamonds, an arrogant college student who believes that nonsense is an actual science. When reading the review of this, because again, I just wasn't sure what to pick, I'm getting a vibe for this book, and the vibe is, this will mess with me so much, do not read it at night. Like, seriously, so many, it's got like a lot of five star reviews, like a ridiculous amount. Uh, there are like, obviously like a few negatives, but yeah, mostly it is just like, I accepted the fact that this book would be crazy, I wasn't ready for how far over the line of crazy this book would be. So I'm kind of concerned. <laughs> But interested at the same time. I feel like this could make a very interesting read on holiday. And then, yeah, I can just buy the second one straight away if I finish it. And then I will probably just maybe keep picking it up off and on over next year. But we're going to see. We're going to delve into some crazy. I love a good retelling. I love an Alice in Wonderland one. I think there are so many directions you can take. So hopefully it will be good. Last but not least, The Return of the King. Uh, you can see why I didn't pick this for my holiday. <laughs> this doesn't exactly scream relaxing by a pool, happy jolly bad, which is also why I picked it for October and not kind of like January or December because, well, A, December is Christmas, so this is not a Christmas vibey book. And January is dull and miserable and this will probably depress the hell out of me. I probably could get away with reading the second one on holiday because, you know, it's not too grim until you hit the spider. But yeah, this one is gonna be a killer. So I kind of thought I won't read this on holiday because let's face it, this is the one that gets super grim. I'm kind of looking forward to reading it though. I've really gotten on with the second one. First one was a bit hit and miss, but I'm really hoping, I'm guessing maybe because the story has picked up more, well maybe why I've been enjoying it more. I just found the writing style was really different. So I am really looking forward to finally nailing the coffin on these ones because I didn't think I'd be able to get on with them. I'm so proud of how well I did with them. So this will be my once I'm back from holiday and I will read this and then um, I feel like I'm going to go into November with this one. I just have a feeling that I'm going to end up probably yeah, continuing this in November but that's fine because yeah I kind of know where I am with that. Oh we are done. I'm really really tired. I feel like I probably look a little bit like that. But yeah I that's it. Like I'm actually like done. I have two weeks off work now. I'm so excited. I've never taken two weeks off in my entire life. Like never. I've had holiday where it just worked out. I had like a week and a half just off because of how my days off got placed. Yes, it's going to be weird. I'm, I am concerned about trying to get back into a decent sleeping pattern because obviously I have to get up at four in the morning. The only upside is that our flight home is the day before I go back to work and the flight is at seven something. So if I can get up for that, I can get up for work the next day. <laughs> but I feel like a lot of nap Thing is gonna take place for me because I just don't think I'm gonna be able to survive but it's gonna be really nice just to chill finally you know I went straight from my last job to this one and my last one killed me so I only had a day off in between so it's actually gonna be really nice just to be like <sighs> and you know obviously Christmas is coming now like you can't take holiday in retail for Christmas so yeah this I like to try and get a late one in to kind of prepare me for the worst Comment below about your reads for the month and what you think of mine. And if you've read The Little Prince, then please, please, please. I want to hear your thoughts on it because, I don't know, I just feel like... 
I don't know. It's obviously just a book not for me because I didn't get it, I guess, which is kind of annoying. But hey ho. I hope you have a really good week. I am going to enjoy the first week of mine carefree. I've gone from I don't want to do anything, I don't want to see anyone, I just want to binge watch TV and just read to who's free guys, like let's make some plans. This is what always happens to me. I'm like, oh I've got time off, this would be great, I'll get loads of stuff washed, get loads of books read and I'm like, oh plan. This is very annoying, very stupid of me. Enjoy your week, have fun. I'm so excited to have a holiday.